Hi, good morning. Let's continue with uh, session number four, analysis in capital budgeting. A company has determined the following probability for net cash flow generated by project. Calculate expected net cash flow and calculate the present value of cash flow at 12% discount rate. So this is a typical question which want to determine the net cash inflow. Let's look into that. There are columns year 1 cash inflow and probability, year 2 cash inflow and probability, year 3 cash inflow and probability. That's given. So this is the probability concept approach. Cash inflow and probability. Cash flow and probability. So for 3 years it's given. So what you want to do, year 1, the cash flow and probability, you write in respective columns. Cash flow 2000, probability 0.1, 4000, 0.2, this is for year 1, and 6000, 0.3, 8000, 0.4. Then you multiply the cash flow with probability, you get expected value of the cash flow. That is 2000 into 0.1, 200, 4000 into 0.2, 800. 6,000 into 0 0.3, 1,800. 8,000 into 0 0.4, 3,200. So, this is for year 1. You will get the expected value of the cash flows. Then you find the sum of this, that is 6,000. That is total expected value of the cash flow is 6,000. Just like that, you can calculate the expected value of cash flow for second year. Respective columns, you can write the cash flow and probabilities and multiply it, you will get the expected cash flows. 2000 into 0 0.2, 400. 4000 into 0 0.3, 1200. 6000 into 0 0.4, 2400. Let's look into that and find the sum of this, that is 4800. Then third year also you can do in the same way, 2000, 0 0.3, 600. 4000, 0 0.4, 1600. You find the sum of all these cash flows, that is 4200. So, you got three cash flows. One is 6,000, second one is 4,800 and third one is 4,200. So, this is the first year cash flow, this is second year cash flow and this is third year cash flow. Then you check the question, what is that? Present value of cash flows at 12% discount rate. That's what you want to find out. So, uh, for the one year 12% rate, there is a present value factor. You take that, that is 0.893. For the second year, at 12% rate, there is a factor, present value factor, that is 0 0.797. Third year, the present value factor is 0 0.712. Then you multiply it, 6000 into 0 0.893, 4, plus 4000 into 0 0.797, plus 4200 into 0 0.712. Find the sum of this, you will get 12,354, that is present value of the cash flows. This is the answer for that. And this question is related to certainty equality. A company is considering two mutually exclusive projects. Company uses certainty equivalent approach. Estimated cash flow and certainty equivalent for each project are given. Which project will be accepted if the risk-free rate is 5%? So, what are the informations given here? Project 1 cash flows and project 1 certainty equivalent. Project 2 cash flows, project 2 certainty equivalent. All these are given. Only one point you want to remember. Year 0 minus 1 lakh is written. Project 2, year 0 minus 2 lakh is written. So, this is cash outflow of the project. Initial year cash outflow for project 1. Initially, uh, the cash outflow for project 2. That's given respectively. All these are cash inflows. So, how you calculate the NPV? First, you can take the cash outflows. That is minus 1 lakh. That is cash outflow. So, 1 lakh into 1. That is cash outflow. 1 into minus 1 lakh. So, you will get a figure plus then you want to calculate the present value of cash inflows. 
that is 0 0.90 into 50,000 into the first year what is the present value factor at 5% rate that's very important 0.90 into 50,000 and into present value factor for 5% for one year you can write that factor from the table and multiply it plus then you check the next one 0.85 into 50,000 0.85 into 50,000 into present value factor 5% for second year take it from the table multiply it then plus 0.80 into 30,000, 0.80 into 30,000 into percent value factor at 5% for third year. Then 0.75 into 30,000 into percent value factor at 5% for fourth year. You find it and calculate, you will get the answer 20,648.79. That's the NPV of the project number one. Just like that, you can calculate project number 2, NPV, the same approach. 1 into minus 2 lakh, that's the way, minus 2 lakh, that is cash outflow, minus is cash outflow, plus, when you check it out, 0 0.90 into 80,000, into present value factor 5% for 1 year, plus 0 0.80 into 60,000, into present value factor 5% for second year, plus, 0.70 into 40,000 into PV factor 5% for third year plus 0.60 into 30,000 percent value factor 5% for fourth year. Then you find the sum of this, you will get minus 48,895.07. That is NPV of the project is negative. So from the comparison, you can understand that Project number 1 must be accepted. It is with 20,648.79. This is second question you can expect from this chapter. Certainty equivalent approach. Then the last one. That is problem number 8. A company is considering mutually exclusive project X and Z. Initial cost of both project is 10 lakh rupees. And both have life period of 4 years. Three economic state, states of the economy are given good, normal, and bad. Cash inflows and probability are given. So there are four columns economic states, good, normal, bad. Probability 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, and cash inflows are given for project X. Cash inflow for project Z is also given. This is a very important question. So, what do you want to do? First column economic status. Second column probability, third column cash flow, you rate it respectively. And next column, you multiply the cash flow with probability. 0 0.3 into 12, 3.6. 0 0.4 into 8, 3.2. 0 0.3 into 4, 1.2. So you get it. Then you find the sum of this H. You find the sum of these things, you will get H. Then as a next step, what do you want to calculate? That is deviation. Deviation is known as 12 is the cash inflow. So 12 minus H, X minus X bar. You know that. This is X bar and this 12 is X. So 12 minus H square is 4 square is known as 16. Just like that, the second one, H. 8 is the cash inflow. So 8 minus 8 square, that is 0 square, 0. Then next one, 4. 4 minus 8 whole square, that is minus 4 square, 16. So you will get 16, 0, 16 respectively. Then what you want to do, the probability is given. So this deviation square is multiplying with probability. 16 into 0 0.3, 4 .8. 0 into 0 0.4, 0. 16 into 0.3, that is 4.8 you will get that. You find the sum of this, that is 9.6. This is actually the variance, variance of project, first project. And square root of this variance is known as standard deviation. Standard deviation is square root of 9.6, 3.09. So that is for project X standard deviation. Just like that, you can calculate project Y standard deviation. Probability is written. Cash flows are written. Cash flow into probability you are finding out 3.3, 3.2, 1.5.
then you find the sum of this you will get a figure then you just find out the difference between this that is 11 minus that what is the uh, total sum of this you just check it out okay you will get that and you find out the deviation square and respectively and this deviation square is multiplying with the probability you rate it in this column respectively and you find the sum of this the square root of this sum is known as standard deviation you just to try out this this project project y you just make the calculation you will get standard deviation 2.68 so you compare the standard deviation between project x and project y with standard deviation is low project y standard deviation is low so project y must be accepted okay that's the answer for this question just check it out okay thank you that's all about the risk analysis in capital budgeting wish you all the best